Hi guys, welcome back to Shah's Lifestyle Vlogs. Right guys, I hope everyone is doing well. How are you? Okay, I'm trying to improve my intros right now. Okay, so I'm trying to remember, okay, to have an intro. So how are you guys? I hope everyone is doing well. Me, myself and family, we are doing very well. Okay, so um, as you see, today we are in my kitchen and I thought this would be a really nice little different variety for you guys. I don't really do cook with me, but I thought just for variety's sake, let me do a winter dish cook with me. Now, I cook this beef stew stroke casserole stroke soup all the time. Since the kids has been growing up, I've always made it. They've always loved it. And it's very filling, it's very healthy, and it gives you that nice, warm, winter, cozy, home-cooked meal, sort of comfort food situation. So I thought, why not show you guys? I thought that would be a nice little, you know, change to what I would normally do, rather than my normal mundane, you know, walking around, doing bits of cleaning and little bits of chit-chatting and so on. I thought, let me do a cooking today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Please stay and continue watching as I create my winter beef casserole stroke stew stroke soup. Okay. So over there, let's get started guys. So over there on my stove, I have my pot. That would be the average size pot I use. My pot and it has some oil in there that we're warming up right now. And in here guys is the beef, okay? This beef has been marinating since last night, so it smells great. It's been um, nicely seasoned. Let me tell you what I've got in here. I've got black pepper, I've got cumin, I've got paprika. What else do we have? We have a little bit of barbecue, um, salt, garlic salt, onion salt, um, what else do we have? Let me see. I can't remember all of... Yes, that's it. We have oregano, parsley and some ginger. So that's what we have here. And that's the beef. Okay, diced beef. So I'm going to put... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to fry. Let me get my little apron on first, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna wear our apron. Guys, I do need to put my hair up. It's all the way out at the moment. I do like to have, give my hair a bit of a breather instead of always being pulled back, you know? So that's why it's just out and loosey goosey right now. So I'm gonna just use this little crunchy here and because I don't want to, you shouldn't really cook with your hair loose, but I also don't want to um, have it too tight. We're just going to have it loosely tied back. Okay, so here's my beef, guys, and I'm going to put that to fry, first of all. Okay. 
Right, I love to clean as I go, guys. You should always clean as you go. So let me roll up my sleeves here. While that is frying up, I'm going to um, wash this real quick. Then we can move on to adding some vegetables to it. I'm going to add some onions and some peppers, bell peppers, and we'll see what else we can find. Some garlic, let that all cook in and flavour up the meat a little bit more. So that the meat can be nicely flavoursome. Let's get this out of our way first. One thing I don't like, guys, I cannot cook. I've never been able to cook in a messy kitchen. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's not a good idea to cook in a messy kitchen. Okay, so, there we go. Now I'm going to get my, um, what's that in my sink? Now I'm going to get my onion, garlic, and um, pepper. Get my chopping board, guys. We're going to use this so that we have something to rest our utensils on. Okay, so while that is lightly frying, guys, I'm going to get this bowl, which is what I use for my vegetables. I'm going to fill it up with some water, some cold water. Well, you're not going to fill it up, probably about halfway with some cold water. That's about, that's a bit too much. With some cold water, guys. Move that out of the way. And then I'm going to use this, which is um, fresh produce wash for fruit and vegetables. Okay, so give that a shake. And I'm going to use just a cap full, a cap full of this vegetable wash and add it to my water. and that's basically what I'm going to um, wash my vegetables in we've already got a quarter of an onion already peeled so we're going to throw that in we've got a small bit of pepper we'll use that up we have some peeled garlic right here some peeled garlic we're going to throw that in let me get my knife and then we have half an onion here and i'm basically going to use the rest the whole all of my vegetables in this vegetable wash right here throw that in okay I'm gonna wash out our vegetables real quick and then I'm going to just dice everything very fine very smooth 
small right here. Let me bring you guys down a bit. So here's my vegetable wash. Okay, I'm going to put you guys here now. Right guys, so this is what we have so far. So we have our onions, our peppers and our garlic in there. We're going to leave the chopping board here for now because we need more chopping board. We're going to use this, um, this vegetable wash again, okay? So I have my lid here. We're going to put the lid on top of the pot. We're going to basically leave that to just simmer for now. Um, and we're going to come back, we're going to wash this, we're going to come back and we're going to come back and um, add some more vegetables into our, um, into our little casserole over here, okay? So I will be back once in a little while. In the meantime and in between time, I'm going to quickly show you what vegetables we are going to use because I'm going to leave them soaking in this vegetable wash for a minute. So, squash here, I have um, some um, cauliflower, I've got a very large, one large red potato, I have a red cabbage here. Okay. I'm just making a herbal tea, guys, for me to go and relax with in a moment. Right. So, what I'm going to do is bring you back down and we're going to start cutting up our vegetables and we're going to leave them in our vegetable wash while this sort of simmers. So I'll put you back here. First thing I'm going to cut is the squash. 
we're going to use maybe half a squash. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna put that in my vegetable wash. There they are. Next thing I'm gonna do is cut this cauliflower, which is seen better taste. I know. I'm going to use her all up anyway. Next thing we're gonna do is cut some of our red cabbage here. enough. Might cut a bit more red cabbage actually. We have a little bit more. Not that much more. And then we're going to peel this um, red potato. guys I'm gonna move you again here's my vegetables I'm gonna just leave them in the vegetable wash for a little while in the meantime and in between time I'm gonna just rinse off my peeler here wash this off a little bit That's washed off and my knife, I'm going to use my knife again, so we're going to leave that there. Okay, uh, that's how it's looking. We will add more seasoning to this as we go. Right guys, I'm going to put the lid back on here. I'm going to take my um, little herbal, this is strawberry and cranberry, and I will be back. Okay guys, see you in a minute. Hey guys, so we're back in the kitchen and it's time to check on the beef and cut these vegetables that I have soaking here in my little vegetable wash. Oh, put the hair back up. amazing it smells really good guys I wish you guys could smell it I'm gonna love it down a little bit right now it's time for me to cut up my vegetables right here so I'm gonna start cutting up my cauliflower now it's been soaking in the vegetable wash and we're going to chop that all in. So, stir that up in a minute. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my red cabbage here into small pieces. Have some more red cabbage here. You can use whatever vegetables that you have in hand. You don't have to use cauliflower and red cabbage. That's just what I just happen to have and squash and so forth. You can use whatever vegetables. You can use um, potatoes and cabbage, white cabbage, red cabbage. You can use whatever you have, basically. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be 
and this specific ingredients to make this. I just grab whatever vegetables I happen to have. Um, yeah. And I needed to use up some of these vegetables, as you can see. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to just use them up in this little casserole. I'm going to make a casserole so that I can use them up. There goes the potatoes. And don't worry, I'm gonna all stir it all in. Mix it all in as I go. I can get rid of my little vegetable wash right here now, so we're done with that. And I'm gonna just cut this, this wash real quick. One of those ones that's really hard to cut, by the way. Um, but when it's cooked, it's really, really soft. It's almost like a sub. You cook a sweet potato, it turns very soft, very mushy. So I'm making sure I'm cutting them really small because not everyone is a fan of squash. It does have very good benefits actually eating squash. Like most vegetables, so I'm just going to dice that really small. Okay, so that when it turns into a soup, it kind of mixes into the soup section of everything. You'll see what I mean. It will sort of dissolve in a sense. Okay. Right, now that's all our vegetables are in. I'm going to add a bit of water, hot boiling water, just a little bit. And then I'm going to mix that all into my meat. Okay, let me show you what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. Once everything has started to soften, and everything it wouldn't look so bulky it will it will basically um condense and we will be back when that happens because then it will be time to re-season and um make it more into a soup soup like texture and then we get to add in which is the bit that everyone loves. We get to add in my boiled dumplings. So we're gonna let that steam down a little bit. Let that cook down. And um, I'm gonna just wash up. I don't need, I don't need my chopping board anymore. I don't need my vegetable wash anymore. So I'm going to, actually, let me do that now. I'm going to basically wash my hands, of course. Have to keep washing the hands as well. Don't forget to keep your hands washed and cleaned each time. Okay guys, as I said, I will be back um, in a moment. Okay, bye. So, hi again. We are back. Put the hair back up. You're probably wondering why do I have to keep putting up my hair? It's because I don't want to do it tight because I don't I want my hair to be able to breathe a little bit um and not be you know pulled back so tight like that it's not good for your hair it's not good for your edges or anything so but my crunchy keeps at the same time it keeps sliding off my hair anyway let's wash our hands and have a look and see how this food is getting on. It should be time now to add some more um, seasoning 
and um, make it more into a gravy situation. So we have a little peek at it first. Okay, it's cooked down just a little bit, guys. To be fair, I probably have a little bit too much red cabbage, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to put some, I'm going to add, because you can never have enough vegetables. So I'm going to add some mixed beans in there, which is these. Yummy. Gonna add some mixed beans and then we're going to season it up a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to also add some barbecue sauce because it just brings out the flavour in the beef and it just makes it taste so nice. Trust me. Trust me, it does. It makes it taste so good. We're going to also add some. I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. But first of all, first things first, let's put in our mixed beans. Drain it first. You're probably thinking, oh wow, that's a whole heap of vegetables, but honestly, it just adds to the nice experience of the casserole, of the soup. It just makes it taste nice. So putting mixed beans in, guys. And like sometimes I'll even put in some pasta. I think we have enough vegetables in here, so I'm not going to go for pasta because I'm going to see, I may put some dumplings, I don't know. We have a lot of um, vegetables here, so I might not add dumplings. Hi! Because it's got a lot of vegetables, do you think I should still add dumplings or not? Huh? You don't have dumplings in it? So you do? Okay, so I'm going to add some dumplings. Okay, just decided about me. Some of these I can't see if you want some dumplings or not. To be honest, I knew you were going to say yes anyway. I knew you could do it. I didn't show you what I just put in, oh my goodness. Okay, we've got some garlic salt, we've added some onion, we've got some um, salt. I'm going to add this. This is all purpose um, stock, it says. So I'm going to just get my spoon and I'm going to add probably about that much of my stock. I'm going to squirt some barbecue sauce in there, just a bit. And then I'm going to throw in some tomato sauce in there. And that's what's going to create the lovely, and add a bit of water, a bit more water. And that's what's going to create the nicest soup. I'm going to mix that all in and I'll show you guys what it's looking like. The only thing I don't have is gravy granules, which is a shame because that really... Because I don't have gravy granules, that's why I'm using my stock and my the barbecue sauce as well. Let me show you what that's looking like. That's what it's looking like. It's a bit overrun with red cabbage right now. I may have put a little bit too much red cabbage, but that's fine. Okay. We're going to let that cook down some more. everything away. 
leave the salt out for our dumplings. Right, so I asked Kylan if he wants dumplings in there. They always want dumplings in there. I don't know why I even bothered asking. But yeah, it doesn't look like um, it's the kind of dish that would actually require dumplings. But I think I'm going to just do it in this little bowl. We're not going to do a lot of dumplings, so I'm going to just use this bowl here. I'm going to get my little gravy pot here and fill it with some water. So fill to that with some cold water. Um, we have some salt and... We've got some plain flour. And we're going to start doing the dumplings now. So about this much nearly a bowl full or half a bowl of flour, plain flour. Going to have, have a sprinkle of salt. And then we're going to start to knead this adding water as we go. Let me turn you so you can sort of see what I'm doing. This consistency, guys. Just keep kneading it. From there. Right, we'll leave that to sit for a minute. We're going to tidy this mess up and then we can add in our dolphins. down below guys of what is you one of your favorite winter home cooked meals it's a good question to ask and i hope i get some comments comment down below which is your favorite winter home cooked meal um yeah right now we're going to give the meat, the, um, this little casserole a bit more of a stir so that we can then go ahead and put in our dumplings. It's looking nice guys and it's smelling delicious. Looking good, smelling delicious. And it's a really nice sort of warm, hearty, filling meal. It's sort of one of those dinners that, you know, you're nice, full up and content. 
because there's just so much in there. So I do like sausage sort of shaped dumplings like that. You plop it in. I'm going to continue to do that. You can do any kind of shape dumplings as you want. Sometimes I do just like a flat sort of a flat with that. Right guys, so that's it. Our meal is basically done, but I will come with the end results. Let me just show you. There's all the dumplings. I'm gonna leave that on top for now until they harden a little bit and then I can mix them in. But as you see, we've got a variety of different types of shapes of dumplings around and sausage dumplings and a lot of it <laughs> because we do love to put dumplings in there. And also the dump, I'm going to cover it up. Also the dumplings, um, adds to the, the, um, the, the casserole, it basically makes it more dense and so it's just more tasty, it's more enjoyable, um, different varieties and textures in your mouth and also um, um, it's obviously a lot more filling. So that's it guys, that's the end of my cooking. As you can see, we have, we clean as we go. Everything that we have used gets washed as we go. Um, and I will come back with the end results basically when I'm serving. And that will be it guys. I hope you enjoyed this cook with me. Um, I enjoyed creating this with you and making our evening, our evening favourite um, winter dish um, with you. Please comment down below what is your favourite winter dish and do you enjoy nice home cooked um, meals in the winter? Um, we we are very much a home cooking family so anyway i'm gonna go now and i will show you the end results once i'm serving okay guys which wouldn't be long i just need these um, vegetables to cook down a little bit more and the dumplings to cook and then we can serve okay see you in a minute hi guys Right, time for the end result. Right, it's not much to look at, to look at, okay? But it tastes absolutely perfect, okay? Even if I do say so myself. Right, um, it's just me, myself, and myself, <laughs> Nicole, and kai home at the moment so that's all i've served for and um, there's more in the pot and there we have it this is the end results guys this is what it's looking like right off the stove it's healthy it's nutritious it's filling it's a nice warm hot hearty meal for the winter i hope you enjoyed this cook with me guys thanks so much if you've made it to the end of the video please consider subscribing please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it please make a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite winter meal okay Okay guys, I'm going to go now and I'm going to sit down 
I'm going to go and watch Miss R. Fabulous. She's on live right now. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to enjoy my food. Okay. Okay, guys. Stay safe. Be safe. And as always, peace, guys. Bye.